Hello everyone and welcome to an Impossible Creatures tutorial. My name is Brandon, or Beechamp, and I will be going through some early game build orders today. So if you guys are new, then uh, are new to Impossible Creatures, then an early game build order is what you do at the beginning of the game to establish a foundation for the rest of the game. It's uh, what you do in terms of how many henchmen you build, what buildings you build, what order you build them in, and uh, how you kickstart your economy, which will carry you through the early game and into the mid game and late game. A bad early game build order can uh, really cost players heavily. And so I'm going to be going over three here today for you. And you're going to be able to follow along and watch my mouse clicks and everything like that. Normally I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts, but we won't be doing that just so you can follow along a lot easier. And uh, of these three, the first one is actually going to be a uh, bad build order, something that I don't recommend, and something that's going to go over a lot of common mistakes that uh, you see players do. And then the other two are going to be different build orders for different situations. Uh, I'm not going to claim to be the best player in the world My because that's just untrue. Um, but I hope you can learn something. Right. So one thing that you'll see people do Hello. very often is they're going to just try to okay. max out their lightning rods. And uh, they only have, you only have one henchman mining coal done. here. You have 300 coal from both of these lightning rods. They're each 150 that are just sitting around doing nothing. Um, Hello. While no your henchmen are getting to building right. them. And so uh, the thought process for a lot of people behind doing this is, oh, I want to get electricity building as quickly done. as possible uh, because it's getting me resources. So I can get to level 2 as fast as possible. Level 2 is when units start getting effective, and uh, that costs 300 electricity. And so here, uh, someone might say, okay, well, I'm going to wait until I get my 200 coal, 300 electricity I already have. Nice, hit level 2. So here I have 3 lightning rods, 5 henchmen. Oops, sorry about that. And so now uh, you'll see a lot of people try and, or you'll, rather you'll see a lot of new players Hello. try okay. and save up coal so they can build their first creature boss. chamber and they want to build this creature chamber right away. Level two research is complete. Okay. And they hit level two and, um, and again, this is an extremely bad example, So, uh, but you'll see players not make henchmen at all here so they can save up once their creature chamber is built, and start building units right away. As fast as possible. And we're going to be doing each example to around three or four minutes, and that's when you can compare, um, compare the different styles. And so I did build an extra henchman because it's just really bugging me. Uh, I feel like I needed to. Um, but you can see right around 3 minutes and 30 seconds, we have 3 units, and we have 6 henchmen, 3 lightning rods. This is not good at all. Um, you, what you were really aiming for is to have 2 henchmen per coal pile. We have 5 coal piles here, so you want 10 henchmen instead of just 6. You don't need units unless you're planning to rush right away. And if even if you are planning to rush, this is the wrong strategy to do it. Um, so let's instead show you a example of early game build order that is going to focus heavily on economy so remember you want to have a goal in mind I'm when you're doing your these build orders parts. so instead the first thing we're going to do is start building henchmen and i'm going to build four henchmen right off the bat All right, All now right. I'm going to start building my first okay. lightning rod. Hello. I'll have right. another henchman come join him. And then just as soon as my queue em empties, right here, my build queue, building henchman empties, Hello. then building I'm going to okay. produce another henchman. And then Hello. in the same sense, the moment that my lightning rod here finishes up, I'm going to build this, that second lightning rod. All right. I'm not going to build it prematurely. Done building. 
You can see already only a minute and 20 seconds into the game, and we have 10 henchmen. We've maxed out that coal pile, and we have our two lightning rods, which is great. We're doing much better already. And so since I've maxed out the efficiency for this coal pile, since adding any more henchmen won't uh, increase the rate of production of coal, then I'm going to start moving up the henchmen over here. Oh, sorry, I accidentally used a shortcut. You're the boss. Um, Hello. Okay. Hello. Keep building right. henchmen back here. Building's done. And now I'm at a point right after this henchman is built, I am ready to go level two. And ready, boss. at the same time, okay. I'm going to start going building more You're lightning boss. rods. Possibly only one more at this point. And then I'm actually going to okay. go and try to get this geyser over here. Done building. Ready, boss. Put a generator on that geyser. Yeah, and then right away, going back, building more henchmen. And so you can see here, I don't have any units, but I have, Ready, what is this, 14 henchmen, 15 henchmen oh, now, plus one in the works. Um, Ready, got a geyser or generator, three lightning rods, okay. can build my creature chamber at any time, build sound beam towers at any time if I start getting attacked. Um, and of course, I'm not doing it right now because I'm talking, but keep building henchmen, stay productive, uh, start upgrading your no research, your geyser, Ready keep your henchmen us. active, do not have Good idle boss. henchmen doing nothing. All right. uh, those are all things Add that are bad. You don't have your lab idle, you don't want an idle lab, you don't want idle henchmen, you want to keep things productive. Um, so, this Don't is build. a great start Add for an economy, and we are going to move on now to the third uh, option, which is going to be for a rush strategy. If you're trying to rush an opponent, or if you expect to be rushed, Boss, this is how you can lab, get creatures out quickly. Ready, so right on the first okay. pass, I'm going to build my lightning rod. Boss. So the henchmen are going to go collect coal, come back once, and I'm going to send whoopsies. Okay. actually messed up there. Um, I only want to send one of them to build Ready, a lightning rod. All right. And then I'll rally done. production on a second henchman. Hello. So, Good sorry boss. there was a little bit of, mi of a mistake there. But I hope you get the idea. No building is up. relatively early rods but you're doing it just one at a time not queuing up a bunch you're still focusing on trying to build as many henchmen as possible Hello. but you're watching this electricity the whole time you're watching this slowly catch up to Ready, boss. uh 300 right when it hits 300 boom ready to go we have Hello. one extra henchman that we need here and so we're going to use that one extra henchman right. to Build our first creature chamber. You're the boss. In fact, Ready, I'm gonna take boss. this henchman too. All right. I want to get it out fast because Hello. I am in a rush. You're the boss. Level two research is complete. So because of my little error there, I messed up a little bit. Normally, it times out much better. I'm trying to pump out creatures, making them my priority more so Ready, boss. than okay. um, the henchmen. Boss. Boss. Okay. And start the rush. So we're at three minutes. We have three lightning rods, Hello. Uh, 12 henchmen, and uh, five creatures Building's coming our done. way. So, this is definitely much better um, than even the first scenario, even though we did get the are under uh, units out pretty quickly. And um, now from this point, Hello. if you want to, you can start increasing your economy. All right. Hello. Okay. And again, these, I mean, these computers are on easy, so uh, this isn't too hard. But... Um, what's great is you can use shortcuts if 
you know, keyboard shortcuts, control C will select your creature chamber. You can rally creatures here. Um, and then control Z will select your lab. You can make sure you're continuously creating henchmen to fuel your economy. The Quillers are under attack. And there we have it. So uh, I hope you learned something from this video. Oh, you don't want idle henchmen. Don't forget about your, your idle henchmen here. Really watch for these, these symbols on the left-hand corner. But um, anyhow, I hope you learned something from this video, especially if you're new uh, to Impossible Creatures. And um, I hope you're, you can start to be more aware of uh, all of your resources in terms of what's being produced and being able to use, maximize them as much as possible. Keys keep building henchmen uh, constantly in the early game. That is absolutely essential. So uh, with that, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.